Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and this week we are going to do another $25 grocery haul challenge. This week we are using Kroger. In Colorado it is King Supers, but we got quite a bit of stuff. So let's start over here. We got some enchilada sauce, some four cheese alfredo sauce, chicken breast, flour tortillas, we have some pizza crust, quinoa, tiki masala simmer sauce, two potatoes, aroma tomato, balsamic vinaigrette, an onion, a cucumber, and a zucchini. I have some rotini pasta and some pancake and waffle mix. I have some fiesta style vegetables, some green giant broccoli and cheese sauce, a little bit of mild cheddar cheese, one banana, a bunch of spinach, and that is it. So the total came to $22.47, and you absolutely could add anything to this. So we are going to be making banana and cinnamon pancakes with some breakfast potatoes roasted in balsamic vinaigrette. So I have just some pancake mix here, a cup of water, one banana, and then I have cinnamon on my spice rack. And then for the breakfast potatoes, I am just going to be cutting up one potato and a fourth of the onion and then using that balsamic vinaigrette to toss it in. And this is dinner. So one cup of that made three giant pancakes and some potatoes and it was pretty satisfying for my toddler to have something sweet for dinner and I absolutely love the flavor of those potatoes. It was very filling and very cozy for the winter chill. The next recipe is going to be a flatbread we are going to be doing a balsamic and white sauce flatbread. So you're going to need some spinach, the onion, some of that alfredo sauce, chicken breast if you would like to add it to your pizza, you don't have to, some of that pizza crust, and some balsamic vinaigrette. this is how it came out. I put the alfredo sauce down first and then I added onion, tomato, a little bit of spinach. I used half of the pizza with chicken for my husband and then the other half with no chicken for my son. All right, the next recipe is going to be just a classic pasta salad. You could serve this up for dinner. You could serve it on the side of the pizza. It is really up to you. So you're going to need some spinach, that onion, some pasta noodles, about a fourth of this cheese, a cucumber, some balsamic vinaigrette, and a Roma tomato. So what I did was cook the pasta and diced everything pretty finely. I shredded that block of cheese and saved the rest for another recipe and tossed everything in that balsamic vinaigrette. The next recipe is going to be this tiki masala. It is going to be a simmer. This is super delicious as is. You could serve it alongside of some of those tortillas with cheese if you wanted. You're gonna need spinach and onion, some quinoa, half of the bag of mixed vegetables, and then the tiki masala simmer sauce. Believe it or not, that was the most expensive thing on our grocery list. So I literally just put everything in a pot Quinoa is one cup quinoa to two cups your liquid, so I just did some water and I simmered it for about 25 minutes and it came out fluffy and delicious. The potatoes make it very filling. There's beans in the vegetables. It was just delicious. The next recipe is going to be a zucchini, spinach, and onion pasta bake. This is kind of like a spinach and artichoke, but artichokes are a little pricey, so we used a zucchini instead, and we used half of the box of the pasta. So all I did was boil the pasta, 
chop all of the greens pretty finely and then I also added that broccoli and cheese green giant microwavable vegetable dish. I forgot to add that in the ingredients, but I totally forgot I had it. It was in the freezer. This was super filling, which was key for my toddler this week, and he really enjoyed it. Um, the spinach was a nice twist, and it was very cozy. The next recipe and final recipe is going to be these quinoa veggie enchiladas. So you're going to need your quinoa, your flour tortillas, you're going to need that enchilada sauce, the whole can, and then half a bag of your veggies. These are the Fiesta style veggies. And then you're going to need the rest of that block of cheese that you shredded. So I just cooked everything up, folded them into these tortillas. I topped it with cheese and spinach and that was dinner. All right, and that is going to do it for today's recipes. I hope you enjoyed this style. If you did not, please don't hesitate to tell me. I am still new and I would just like to know if you like to see me cook or if this is an easier style. So stay tuned for next week, I'm going to be doing Target, and then the week after that, I'm going to be doing the highly anticipated Whole Foods. So stick with me until the end of the month. I will see you next time. Stay creative, stay adventurous. Bye.